My name is Maciek, I'm a member of the GM Board Games team and also one of the authors of the Gods of War Robert Lee rulebook. I would like to show you the main features of the game, so let's begin! First and most important feature of our game is a command system. So you will play a game from a perspective of a commander-in-chief of a great army. So the main challenge that awaits you is to plan your battle, manage your subordinate generals and assign tasks that will match their skills and personalities. In the game we have three types of core orders – advance, defend and march. And also three characters of generals – aggressive, neutral and cautious. Difficult level of passing the command test mainly comes from the combination of these two. If the order test is blended, the general, with his core, will act according to his personality. Another element that plays a primary role in our game is the fog of war. In the mid-19th century, generals had only a vague idea of the numbers, location and intentions of the enemy's army. This is why players, instead of deploying all their troops, begin each battle with setting patrol markers, which can hide particular core or be used as disinformation. Such a system means that, based on your experience, your knowledge of the enemy and your ability to read the terrain, you will have to guess where the enemy units and what the enemy plans for the battle are. You will be able to feel what is meant to make a blind decision by the true commander-in-chief. Another important feature is cards. Each general has its own card with his traits and special rules. But there are also battle cards. You play them during a game. They can cause different effects on the units or generals. Managing the cards is also an important element of the game strategy. Thanks to them, each game is different. To play, we use popular D6 dice. All tests are performed on 4 plus. Only the number of dice changes and it only increases. So the results are very easy to calculate. Thanks to this, even complex battles are carried out quickly and easily. The scales of both the battle and the miniatures play an essential role. The bases symbolize regiments and brigades of about 1500 to 2000 soldiers. Hence, it is possible to play even the biggest battles of the period, like Alma, Gettysburg, Solferino or Königgratz. We use and produce miniatures in 6mm scale, and they give an impression of commanding the great armies consisting of even tens of thousands of men. The rules are universal, applicable to all wars of the mid-19th century and easily convertible to other historical periods. So, with this book, you become a true commander-in-chief and lead a powerful army to battle. Are you ready to accept the challenge?